Hello again, it's Izzy here. If you've been watching my videos for a while, then you know that the subjects of a lot of my videos come directly from the questions that I receive from people. And recently I received a really great question, and that is how can you take an animation from Google Earth Pro and use it in Final Cut Pro? Maybe you're making a family travel video and you wanna show the travels from one location to another one and use the animation from Google Earth to do that. Well, it turns out you can do it a couple different ways. So what I thought I would do in this video is demonstrate a couple options. The first thing we need to do is start with the animation in Google Earth. So I've got a couple locations set up here. We're going to say we're traveling from the Eiffel Tower to the St. Louis Arch. And so you can see the Eiffel Tower here. And to create the animation, we're going to go to record a tour. So I'll click on this button. Now you can see I've got this record button here. So I'll click on that and I'll just give it a couple seconds. And then I'll come up here and double click on the St. Louis Arch and the animation will take place. And it's going to go over to the St. Louis Arch and zoom in really closely. There we go. And let's say we're done with that. So now what I'll do is I'll click the record button again to stop the tour. Then it goes back and shows me a preview. You can see a little preview and I've got the playhead moving forward here. And let's say we like this. Okay, very good. There's the animation. Now we need to save it. So I'm gonna click on the save button here and I'll give it a name. I'll just call it tour one. And then I'll click okay. And then I'll close down this mode and then what I can do is go up to the tools menu, go to movie maker, and it's gonna ask me, what do I wanna make a movie out of? In this case, I'm gonna use a saved tour, which is tour number one, and then I need to pick a location. So I'm just gonna to navigate to a folder on my desktop. I'll use the tour one video frames here, and then I'll call it tour one frames. That's fine, and I'll click save. And then we choose the video parameters. In this case, I'm gonna choose HD 720, but you do have other options here. And I'm gonna use a 720p version. Now, one thing I should mention here is you do wanna pay attention to the Google Earth licensing. So go to the website and review the different restrictions and how you can use the footage. Now here's the tricky part where it says file type, we have several different options and I've tested all of these. And for some reason, even though Final Cut Pro should be able to handle H.264, there must be something kind of funky about this format or this version of the format because it doesn't work. You can't pull this into Final Cut Pro. In fact, none of these come into Final Cut Pro. So what we have to do is create an image sequence, which is just a series of images like JPEGs or PNGs. And the series of images represents a single frame per image. And then you can create your own video clip from that. So that's what we'll do here. I'm going to use JPEG because it's a little bit of a smaller format. So the files themselves are a little smaller. So I'm going to click on this and then I'll click create movie. And it's going to take a little while because it's got to go frame by frame and create each individual frame, but I'm going to cut and come back when it's done. Okay, it's done exporting the frame. So now what I'll do is I'll command tab over to the finder and you can see I have the folder open here, tour one video frames. And you can see it starts here with frame zero zero and it goes all the way down to 819 frames. So there's 819 JPEGs. And if I click on one of them and hit the space bar to do a quick preview, you can see that's an example of one of the frames. So now what I need to do is take this image sequence and turn it into a video clip. So how do you do that? Well, we have a couple different options. One really simple way to do it is to use compressor. If you have compressor, this is one option, but I'm going to show you another option here in a moment, just in case you don't have compressor, but I'm going to command tab over to compressor. And then from here, I'm going to go to the file menu and choose add image sequence. And then from here, I just have to navigate to the folder. So I'll go to desktop and then I'll go to the tour one video frames. And then you can see here are all the frames. So I'll click on add and it'll show up here like a video clip. And then I just want to use Apple ProRes 422. So I'm going to grab this from the presets, drag it over here. Final Cut Pro loves ProRes. So I'm going to give it a ProRes format to work with. And then I'll just click start batch and it'll start the process of transcoding. It's only going to take a couple minutes here as it goes through this. It's done transcoding, so now I'll command tab back over to the finder. I'll go to this window, I'll navigate up, command up arrow on the keyboard, and here is that video clip that we just exported out of compressor. If I hit the space bar to do a quick preview, you can see it's a standalone video clip now. It's not just a series of images, and a few seconds in, it'll start the animation. Here we go, there it is. So this is something I can bring very easily into Final Cut Pro. In fact, let's demonstrate that. What I'll do is I'll close this down. I'll open up Final Cut Pro here, command tab back over to the finder. I'll just grab this video and bring it into my project. And you can see sure enough, there it is. I can use it in a project. So that's one way we can do this, but there is another way. In fact, there's more than just one other way, but what I'm going to do is demonstrate how to do this with motion. So what I'll do is I'll command tab over to motion now. 
Here I'm looking at the project browser, which is what shows up when you start a new project, but you can go to File, New from Project Browser if you need to. And then here, what I'm gonna do is go down to Import as Project. I'll click on that. It wants me to navigate where the frames are, so I'm gonna to go to Desktop and then into the Tour 1 video frames. I'll select the first frame, and then I'll scroll all the way down to the bottom, and I'll shift click on the last frame, so that way I've got all the frames selected. I'm gonna choose Import as Project. When I do that, Motion sees those series of frames, that image sequence, as a single video clip. So I'll just change the zoom level to fit here. And you can see if I move the playhead through this, I've got that animation. So it looks like just a single video clip to Motion. So now what I'll do is I'll create the ProRes clip by exporting out of Motion. So I'll go to File, Share, Export Movie. I'll check my settings here, make sure I've got it set to Apple ProRes 422, which I do, and then I'll click Next. I'll call this Tour 1 ProRes, and then click Save. And then when it starts the transcoding process, I've got this little indicator. I can click on that and see it as it progresses. Okay, it's done. I'll Command Tab back over to the Finder again. I'll go into the Tour 1 Video Output folder. Here's that video clip. I'll select it and hit the space bar to do a quick preview. Once again, I'll move the play it forward here a little bit. You can see there's the animation. Very nice. And once again, if I go back to Final Cut Pro and then grab it from the Finder, I can bring this into my project directly from the Finder in Final Cut Pro, and it works just fine. I'll move the play through this, and you can see. Sure enough, there it is. We have a nice animation. Another way you could do this, by the way, is just import all the photos into a Final Cut Pro project, select them all, and change the duration to one frame each. However, it's a very clunky way to do it. I find that it doesn't really work that smoothly, and so I prefer to use compressor or motion. Anyway, hopefully that information is useful to you. If you like this video and want more like it, please click like and subscribe to the channel. If you know somebody who could benefit from this information, please feel free to forward this video on to them. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you again soon.